What's up guys, welcome back. As the majority of you know, we are currently in the process of assembling Miss Parker's new engine setup. And while getting everything put together, we have ran into a couple speed bumps, which is expected, you know, you'll have that on these big jobs. But we're getting things figured out slowly but surely. And today the plan is to address one of those little hiccups and get it all dialed in so that way we can get it crossed off the list and continue moving forward. So basically what had happened was, you know, all of this stuff is new, blah, blah, blah. So I ordered some new valve covers to fit Miss Parker's new valve train. When I ordered the valve covers, I ordered some breathers to go along with them. Everything came in the mail. We installed the valve covers. I popped the breathers into place and everything was looking great until we installed Miss Parker's new turbo. After we installed the turbo, I went to go reinstall our up pipe, which is 100% custom fabbed by yours truly. So I will say 99.8 percent of you guys won't have this issue so when I installed the up pipe or when I went to go install the up pipe I quickly realized that the breathers that we just purchased for the new setup were not going to work for us and the reason is if you guys look at the exhaust you can kind of tell the exhaust kind of slants this way and it actually goes over the valve cover like look at this line of the valve cover here you can see the exhaust actually goes over the rear of the valve cover and then kicks out. Now on the previous setup, the breather was right here in the front, on the front side of the passenger side valve cover. Now on the new valve covers, the port for the breather, you can see I got a, a little rag in there, is on the rear side of the valve cover. So the diameter and the height of the breather was just a little too big and it was actually interfering with the exhaust when I was trying to install it and it wouldn't let the V-band on the exhaust and the V-band on the turbo seal properly. So I knew I had to come up with another plan and I could have probably gotten away with just ordering another set of breathers, different style breathers because they do come in all sorts of different sizes. Problem is you don't really know exactly how big they are until you get them in the mail. And I don't really have the time to order a set of breathers, wait for them to come in, just to realize that they don't work either then i have to ship them back wait for the company to receive them then order another set like that could have went on forever and it's really just a gamble so the other option we had was to just send it on a catch can setup and that's what we did boys i bit the bullet and i ordered a entire catch can setup for miss parker which honestly we probably should have done a long time ago because it is something that i've always wanted to do it just wasn't really in the budget and previously you know we were running breathers on the car and it was working fine so i couldn't really justify spending the money on a catch can but you know now that we went to go put everything together on the new setup miss parker was like uh-uh open your wallet back up buddy it's time to order a catch can and i couldn't really argue with her so i sent it i ordered a motion raceworks billet catch can along with all of the fittings and grommets that we're going to need in order to install it properly on the new setup and you know, most of all, fix the issue that we were having, which is the exhaust not being able to get fully bolted up because it was running into the breather. Like if you look here, actually, I'll just pull this out so you guys can get a better idea. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but you could tell that, look at that. You can only see half of the hole because the exhaust kind of goes, or not kind of, it does go over the uh, port on the valve cover. So we'll be taking care of that problem we'll have no more clearance issues we'll be able to bolt up our exhaust for good properly you know we won't have any issues with that anymore and we'll also have a catch can on the car which is ideal i'm stoked on that because like i said i've always wanted a catch can set up on the car it just wasn't really in the budget at the time over here i have everything we're going to need in order to properly install the catch can setup on miss parker i got all of our grommets all of our an fittings the catch can and the filter is inside the box i'm not going to open that up right now but you guys will see it when we get to it and the dash 10 line that we're gonna be using is in the house, so I just gotta run in there and grab that. So we're all set, boys. We got everything we need. I'm excited. This is gonna be a fun little project. Also, I'm gonna try to work quickly and efficiently because it is scheduled to rain a little bit later today and continue raining for the rest of the weekend. So hopefully, the race car gods hold back the weather long enough for us to get this little project knocked out. And, you know, I'm not in a bad mood. I feel, I feel good, but I feel like I'd feel better once we get this knocked out also. My hair is looking absolutely insane right now because I haven't got it done in like nine months, but that's all right. Just, just don't mind that. So with all that being said, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get to work. All right, I just had to wrestle that thing for like five minutes. Good thing I put the camera down. I definitely 
was not going to be able to do that with the camera in my hand but I got it in there finessed it in there I don't know if you guys will be able to see but it's nice and flush now and check this out look how much clearance we have between the fitting and the exhaust that is lovely super excited on that all right again she really made me work for it I underestimated how tight these things were to uh, get into place but I guess that's why they work we got it in there though she's nice and flush fully seated so now that we have both of the bungs or the fittings installed into our valve covers the next thing we want to do is get the catch can mounted in the actual location where we're going to run it so that way we can get accurate measurements from the fittings in the valve covers to the catch can and get some lines made up now we get to open this guy up Let's see what we got to work with a freaking sticker that's sick so here is the main unit real nice as expected and we got some fittings the mounting bracket Ha! a uh, dumb dumb I'm a sucker for suckers if you know what I mean the filter we're gonna have to open that guy up actually I'm not gonna open it up just yet actually yeah uh, I'm gonna open it up I'm real indecisive guys you know I don't know if you guys ever noticed that so that will go on that Johnny like so pretty rad so now we can get this mocked up in the engine bay all right so here's what I'm thinking right around there how you guys feel about that I think that's what we're gonna do all right so I got a little arts and crafts session going here and this is what I'm thinking this represents our secondary mounting plate our first mounting plate is the one on the actual catch can but then we need something to mount that to because where we're going to be putting it in the engine bay it'll just kind of be free floating since we have a tubular front end so i'm thinking we get a little piece of sheet metal bent up like this i'm gonna get that guy welded to the bottom of the tubular front end right here and we'll have four holes drilled in it and then we can mount the catch can directly to that how you guys feel about that solid idea I was also thinking of running a piece like this a little longer and just putting it to this little lip on the fender and bolting it there and then having it you know longer with the bolt holes in it and then attach the catch can like that but that little piece of sheet metal going down like that I don't know I don't think it'll be the cleanest I'd rather just take the extra time now to get that piece welded to the tubular front end and I think it'll be a lot cleaner so that's the plan I got this big ass sheet of sheet metal we're gonna cut a piece out get it bent to shape I'm gonna bust out the Lincoln electric we're gonna weld it into place or drill some holes first then weld it into place then uh, make sure everything fits probably take it back apart paint it all black to match the tubular front end once it dries we can get it mounted up and continue the catch can installation get it traced out this is dangerous but i like a little danger in my life you know what i'm saying that could have easily went from straightening out a piece of metal to knocking off my big toe and that's exciting here's where we're at i also rounded each corner just to give it a nicer look it's not perfect but it'll get the job done through the piece in the vise and i measured just the top portion of the paper that we had folded over so now we're going to hit that with a hammer to bend it over and that's going to be our little lip to give us something to weld to the tube on the front end beautiful and there you have it baby 
we got our mounting bracket all made up pretty stoked on that came out pretty dang good if you ask me so now that guy will get welded to there like so and then we can bolt our catch can up to it pretty rad well just when we started to get fired up here starting to rain also this car cover is a great representation of my life because it's just falling apart all right boys here's the deal the rain slowed down it's like barely drizzling i got the welder out and we're gonna get this bracket welded up real quick you should never weld in a hurry but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do look at this forecast for like the next two weeks this shit is 60 percent rain so i had no choice boys yo we are back outside the weather looks lovely this morning yesterday after we welded the bracket into place i had just enough time to get a couple coats of paint on it before it started to rain again check it out i think it turned out pretty good i'm happy with it it's on there solid but i did make a small mistake it's not a huge deal but it is a little bit unfortunate and you know it's a little too late for me but that's why i'm here so you guys can learn from my mistakes so i just realized that the mounting bracket on the actual catch can is supposed to go flipped the other way around so i have the 90 degree bracket going up and it's supposed to be going down I tried to flip it around and see if it would fit, but it puts the air filter a little bit too tall and won't allow the hood to close. And I'm not about to cut and grind off that bracket, remake another bracket and, you know, go through all of that again. Like I said, it's not a huge deal and it will not affect the way that the catch can works. The only negative to it is that it would have been a lot cleaner if we ran the bracket the other way because it would be a little bit more hidden but once you put the air filter into place you can't really see the bracket anyway so i'm not really going to stress it we're just going to run it like that you know but if you guys are watching this learn from my mistakes and put the bracket the other way you know i wish somebody would have told me but uh ain't nobody done done told me nothing you know what i mean i done but out here by myself but just getting the things done and then and i done did it wrong but it's all right it's going to work out for us anyway moving forward it's time to start getting things dialed in so we're gonna get these fittings into place. Now we can mount the catch can. Got the catch can all tightened up. Also went ahead and threw the filter on there. Peep that. I think it looks pretty rad and see what I was saying like you can see the bracket back there behind the filter but it's whatever man like this is a dang race car it ain't a show car I think it looks fine that thing looks sweet boy look at that look at that Miss Parker is so good looking. That came out sweet. I'm hype on it. I'm hype on it. So now that we have the catch can mounted, we have one last thing to do. And that's get some freaking lines made, baby. So let's get her done. Here is the six feet of Dash 10 nylon AN line that comes with the Motion Raceworks catch can kit. I already threw the little end piece on this side because the plan is to get one of the fittings on. Once we do that, I will run the line to, I'm gonna start on the passenger side one. So I'll connect the fitting on the end of the line to the fitting coming out of our valve cover. I'll run the line the way that we're gonna run it, take some measurements to see where we gotta cut it, cut it, put the other fitting on it to get it attached to the catch can. And then with the line, whatever line we have left over, will make up the driver's side line. You guys have seen me make fuel lines before. This is no different. I actually really like making AN lines. 
it's just a cool process overall. Measured the line to the length that we need, got it marked off and wrapped some tape around it. So now we're just gonna use an angle grinder with a cutting wheel. We're gonna get it cut, put the fitting on it, and the passenger line will be complete. Lovely. Got the other fitting on the line, so now it's time to get it into place. You just gotta feed this guy through here nice and easy. Hey, check it out. We making progress, baby. Got our 90 fitting on the line attached to the fitting coming out of the valve cover we got perfect clearance the line runs that way comes out of the back there and then goes right into the catch can how clean does that look obviously the line is not finalized once we get the other one in i'll start to zip tie things into place also the fittings are just hand tight right now i gotta go back through and tighten them up but that's pretty sick ain't it i'm hyped i think it looks so rad So cool. And we're almost done. So let's get the driver's side line made up and get this job wrapped up. Get this baby into place. Nice and easy. All right. Check it out. Both of the lines are now fully plumbed. We still got to tighten them up and, you know, adjust them a little bit in zip time, which I'll do here in a second, but everything is in the place. Pretty stoked on that, man. Miss Poker is looking so good. I'm, I'm stoked, man, for real. I think it came out awesome. Even though we had a little goof and uh, installed the bracket upside down, you know, we just kept pushing and made the best out of the situation. And like I said, it's not gonna affect the way that the catch can works any. It just would have been tucked behind the cash can instead of tucked behind the filter. But it's a god dang race car. This ain't no show car, boys. We're going for speed here, not looks. This back here came out really nice as well. So once we get that tightened up, we can get the exhaust back into position and finalized. So, yeah. Let's uh, stop wasting time and get everything dialed in. It's a hot one, but hey, shout out to the race car gods because 
the weather is lovely still and we were able to finish the catch can install check it out I got everything all dialed in got the lines all zip tied came out really really sick got the exhaust all tightened up back into place and check this out remember the whole reason we decided to send it on a catch can setup was because we were having fitment issues with the passenger side breather valve cover breather and the exhaust and now if you look look how much clearance we have from the valve cover fitting to the exhaust so we are in good shape I'm hella hype man turned out so rad like look at that I love how these lines just meet up right here and then kind of have that little bend and slope down a little bit it just looks super clean it's proper it's just proper your boy is nice with it man for real I'd be doing good work you know and I'm not even mad that we mounted the bracket on there upside down it don't really make no difference my boy and honestly if we did have the bracket flipped the other way around the bracket that we welded to the tubular front end would have had to been would have had to been that sounds weird I don't know if that's if I'm pronouncing that correctly it would have had to be it would have had to be that sounds weird too I don't know what's going on but it would have been a lot longer you know which I don't think would have been that clean so I'm kind of stoked that we ran it that way we're unique out here boy and that's the lovely thing about race car builds man you get to do them however you please so I'm hyped I think it turned out pretty dang cool overall and most importantly we fixed the clearance issue we were having on the passenger side of the car so that's sick I'm pumped and uh, yeah one more thing knocked off the to-do list give you guys one more look at this bad boy so that line just comes out of there and just curves all nice like and then meets up with that line and then they both just go into the motion catch can billet catch can and that thing is beautiful as well so yeah i'm stoked huge success i had a lot of fun on this one but you know all good things must come to an end hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one be easy